Hi, in this video, I will show you how to configure NTP server, configure NTP client, and the authentication between uh, NTP server and NTP client. On this topology, we have NTP server with the IP address, and we will configure routers as NTP client. Firstly, I will configure NTP server. We open the PCB and then we enable the NTP service with the key is 1. And the password. You can see the password on the PT activity. And the date, I will configure the date for the NTP server. Then I will configure routers as NTP clients. The router one. Now we show the NTP status. As you can see, the clock is unsynchronized. It means uh, there's no message, no NTP message between NTP server and this router. To configure router one as NTP client, we use the command NTP server and insert the IP address of the server of the PCB and then we update the calendar we can check by show clock Now we configure the same way as router 1 on router 2. As you can see, the date is wrong, so we uh, update the, the date and we declare the NTP server. As you can see, the, the date and the time is updated. We do the same way with router 3. And check for the date and time. Okay, now we will configure the authentication between router 1 and the NTP server with the key and the password, MD5 password. And I will copy this command and paste into router 2. And I will configure the authenticate, NTP authenticate and NTP just the key is 1. We do the same way on router 3. And we paste this command into router 3. And if we want to uh, insert the, the date and time on the message log, we use a service timestamp log date time m check to insert the date and time on the, the seed log message sent from the routers to the seed log server. On the seed lock server, I turn on the service. And now I config logging host to PCA. 
It's a C-Log server. And I copy this command and paste it into the router 2 and router 3. Now I show log gene. As you can see that the seed log log gene is enabled. And the log gene server IP address is 192.168.1 and 6. Now I will shut down this a serial interface and we have three seed lock message and then I uh, no shut down it and I get the another seed lock message these messages is sent to the seed lock server and you can check on the seed lock server the host name the time and the message itself That's all for this lab. Thanks for watching.